Okay, this is my final test of brand new board for the TRS-80 COCO 2. I'm testing the serial port here. So what I'm planning on doing is connecting the I.O. port, which is a standard RS-232, well, I guess not a standard RS-232 port, but a three-wire RS-232 port. Okay. And I'm just hooking it into a USB to serial converter that's connected to my computer. I found a document online. It describes what the pinout is. All right. So I'm going to be using transmit data and receive data and ground. And so a printer, um, you know, at first you would think it's a two, a one-way communications thing, but it's really a two-way, right? Because you're transmitting characters to the printer which it will receive on the receive line right and and then you gotta you know make sure that it works um, that it received it so the printer you know sends out you know a ready signal that actually goes into the receive data of the TRS-80 so I will be testing transmit and receive even though we're not Necessarily sending data, but we are testing, you know, the, uh, you know that the, the the traces are good and that the salt chip is wired correctly and all that. <clears throat> so here's a little map I made just to wire it up, and we're going from, you know, we're connecting the two grounds, of course, it's, uh, the I/O port on the TRS-80, three five, uh, four is data out to the printer, right? And then goes into pin 2 of the DB9 connector, which is receive. And then uh, pin 2, which is receive data on the TRS-80, right, is expecting a signal. I chose to use RTS, ready to send, uh, to let it know that it was always ready. So just send data, it's just going to spit data out. Okay. And then according to what I read here, um, the printer expects data at 600 baud no flow control, two stop bits, and no parity. And so, what I plan on doing is transferring a basic program from this computer over here, okay? I will list it, As you can see there's nothing there, and then I will just list it to the printer so you can see it coming out. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna see load a basic program. Right, and that program is bleep. Okay. And so bleep is being transferred. Okay, while that's transferring, let's load putty. I plan on using putty. Okay. Anybody can use putty. It's free, open source, available on all major platforms. Alright. And we will do serial. Um, this will be, okay, it transferred. This will be uh, on my computer, it's TTY USB uh, 0 on Windows, it's, you know, COM1, COM2, or whatever. It's expecting a speed of 600 baud. The printer um, communicates at 600 baud. This will be the printer, right? So um, we're going to have to configure this a little more. Let's go the serial configuration here. Okay, 608 stop bits documentation says should be 2. Okay, parity is none, flow control is none. Alright, so let's put this out of the way here for a second. <clears throat> let's see, what's the other thing we need to do? Um, oh yeah, so if we go to terminal here, alright, this I don't think it sends uh, line feeds. So we're going to click on here so the data just isn't overwritten you know, on the same line. So there's an implied line feed for every carriage return. So we should see the data coming down the screen. Okay, well let's get that started here. Alright, move that all the way over here. Alright, just for now. And over here, let's make sure we have a basic program listed. I mean, in memory, and sure enough, there it is, I'm listing it. And then, with an L list, 
we should be able to send this to a connected printer, which in this case is just terminal over here. So I'm going to hit enter and we should see data scrolling on the screen. Okay. This makes me happy. This means that I've tested, I think, everything I can on the board. Alright, I'd say this is, this is a very successful test. Okay, I will call this done. Don't think I can break this. No. Anyways, there you go. Can I run this? There we go. <laughs> All right, whatever. Error. Okay. Fantastic.